So this is why a human can be the most complex species on the world and fail, but a tree that doesn't even have a brain that just follows its genomes can prosper season after season after season, and there is a demand for what they do. Because most humans are malfunctioning, functioning outside of their original design. The law of reproduction states that fruits will produce based upon the seeds that were planted. The law of reproduction, this is the spiritual principle if you're watching online. The law of reproduction states that the fruit that fruits will produce based upon the seeds that were planted. Now, I said this is a spiritual principle. Yes, it's a life principle, but this is very spiritual. Very spiritual. Genesis 1.11 says this. Then God said, let the land sprout vegetation. The land sprouted vegetation. The land sprouted vegetation. In the ground, there were seeds that caused the land to sprout vegetation. And out of the vegetation, and what, look what it says here in Genesis 11. Every sort of seed-bearing plant and tree that grows seed-bearing fruit. These seeds will then produce the kinds of plants and trees from which they came. And this is what happened. That's what it says. So God is saying that the law of reproduction states that fruits be produced upon the seeds that were planted. We are talking about this series has to do about breakthrough. So, it will get back there, but, but you don't just want natural breakthrough, you want supernatural breakthrough. King David said, Adonai, God, has broken through my enemies like the breakthrough of waters. You have caused them to abandon their idols. That's what he said. Now, the law of reproduction states that fruits will produce based upon the seeds that were planted. Don't plant orange seeds and think that an apple tree is coming out. In other words, everything will reproduce each after its own kind. There's no way around it. There's no way around it. Now, this is something that, sh that people struggle to deal with. Why do I go back to vegetation and fruit? Because the master did. Jesus did. And, and because, here's another thing. Earthly construct speaks to divine inspiration. Earthly construct speaks to divine inspiration. When you can look at something that God created, you can extract a blueprint from the way that it was designed and you can extract the principles of life. You often hear me speak of the apple tree. And on, for those that were here on Friday, I must have mentioned it again, but I'm going to say it again for those that are watching online. The apple tree does not move from place to place. It doesn't move from plantation to, 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 to Palm Beach, to Sunrise, to Fort Lauderdale. The apple tree does not need to keep going around over and over and over again. The apple tree stays where it is and it plants its roots. And as the roots are planted, it grows its roots first. Someone say first. The first thing it does is it grows its roots in the ground. So this is why I said artificial growth causes artificial results because by natural design, the roots were supposed to grow first because the stronger the roots, the deeper the roots, the higher the tree. The apple tree knows that. It doesn't try to bypass the process. It doesn't have to move from place to place. It does not chase people to eat its fruits. People go to it because of the fruits that it has. Because, six, uh, because cause it's successful, right? What did I say success was? People succeed when there is a demand for what they do. People succeed when there is a demand for what they do. Someone say amen if I didn't lose you. All right. People succeed when there's a demand for what they do. I said you could look to nature and find the principles that I had because the divine fingerprint of Elohim is in it. 
The apple tree plants its roots. It grows its trees. It doesn't follow people. It doesn't keep making social media posts, licking toilets and licking ice cream and putting it back in the refrigerator at the store to get social media likes. How come, how, uh, how, how come the apple tree doesn't have to do such a thing? Because it is divinely planted into the place that God established it to be. Everybody was born an original. Most people will leave this earth as a copy. The apple tree was not looking to be like his neighbor. He was not looking to be like the orange tree. He knew that God anointed him. <laughs> the apple tree understood that he was anointed to plant seeds there. Because this verse says each thing reproduces after its own kind. He does not chase people to follow his fruits. He does not chase. So as you chase men around, as you chase women around, try to find a husband, try to find a this, try to find that, try to be seen. The apple tree doesn't do that. People walk by the apple tree and said, wow, I like that. There is a demand for what he does. He's anointed to bear fruits. I like apples. You have apples. I will come to you. Because the gift of the apple tree makes room for him. So rather understand, I say he plants the roots into what God created him to do. He remains still. And he becomes a master at bearing what his original design was to be an apple tree. The apple tree has identity. Humans do not. The apple tree continues to have trees inside of its fruits because any seeds are trees in and of itself. The apple tree does not need to eat off of its eat its own fruit. If you are your biggest supporter and everything that you do benefits you, you must learn from the apple tree. Because when we look at earthly construct, it speaks to the heavenly fingerprint. It speaks to how God designed things to be. And even these things are not in the image of God. But they have foundational understanding. So again, this is spiritual. So this is why a human can be the most complex species on the world and fail. But a tree that doesn't even have a brain that just follows its genomes can prosper season after season after season. And there is a demand for what they do. Because most humans are malfunctioning, functioning outside of their original design. The law of reproduction states that fruits will reproduce after its own kind. 